Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another mock for you guys. So this is my Battle of Keichin Emodia mock. It's not necessarily on Keichin Emodia. I honestly just couldn't find a good planet for the mock. So I just chose Keichin Emodia because it is sort of accurate to the planet. The story behind the mock is that there is a huge battle going on on Keichin Emodia during the early days of the Clone Wars. And I just built part of the battle in a small village. Without further ado guys, let's get right on into the walkthrough. To start off the mock, there is a black border around it, which I think gives it a very sleek look. The actual dimensions of the mock aren't very big, but it is a very tall mock, so that definitely makes up for it. The mock is divided into three main parts, the mid-terrain all throughout the mock, the building, and the rock work. So at the bottom of the mock, we have the first part of the terrain. And it's just a mixture of dark tan plates and tiles, with a small patch of green plants, which I think looks really awesome and really makes the mock pop out a bit. I also added some crates in one of the corners, and then finally I added some dark bluish gray in front of the door of the building. Now my main goal of the mock was to create some sort of damaged old building, and I think it turned out pretty good. For the wall, I used a mixture of light bluish gray bricks, headlight bricks, masonry bricks, cheese slopes, and dark tan plates to add some weathering. For the door, I added a dark bluish gray frame using some tiles, and then used some of those reddish brown log type bricks for the door. Overall, I'm really happy with how the building turned out, and I really like the old and weathered look to it. As we move up the mock, we get into the rock work. My idea was to have some rock work built into the building to add to the rundown look of it, so we added a small section of rock work going into the building on the right side. There's also a small ledge in front of the rock work on top of the building, which I think looks really cool and realistic. For the actual rock work, it's pretty simple using a mixture of dark tan slopes. I like a lot of the angles I was able to capture with the slopes, and overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Finally, at the very top of the mock, we have some more terrain using some dark tan plates and tiles. And then I added a small rise on the right side using some wedge plates. Now let's get on to the minifigures. There's seven minifigures used in total on both the Republic and Separatist sides. For the Separatists, there are two Super Battle Droids, as well as just one normal B1 Battle Droid. The Republic minifigures are definitely more interesting. Starting off, we have three realistic Phase 1 clone troopers, two of which have white jetpacks that came in a set a couple years ago. Then finally, we have a custom Rodian Jedi. You may recognize him from my last mock, as he used the same head and cape, and then just added Obi-Wan's torso and legs. Finally, let's get on to the scene of the mock. Starting off at the lowest level, we have one of the clone troopers with a rifle shooting at the two super battle droids. I really like how I positioned the clone trooper. I actually used a cheese slope under the helmet, so I could position it in that cool position. I'm going to start using this technique more in the future, as it really improves the whole look of a mock. Then we have a really cool shot of a dead clone trooper leaning against the door of the building. I didn't actually add anything underneath the helmet, so it's literally just leaning against the neck of the figure. On the ledge in front of the rock rope, we have the Rodian Jedi who is about to jump off of the ledge towards the super battle droids. Then at the top of the mock, we have the last clone trooper who is in the air and I just shot a battle droid on top of the rock rope. I actually took off the head of the clone trooper and the helmet is just resting on his neck. Then finally, I added a blaster bolt onto the droid, which I don't normally do, but I think looks pretty good. So that concludes this mock showcase, I hope you all enjoyed the video, I definitely had a lot of fun building the mock. Be sure to subscribe to the channel guys, we are getting really close to 500 subscribers, and I'll be doing something really special for that milestone, so be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you that stuck till the end of the video, you guys are all legends, catch you all in the next one, goodbye.